What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about Arrow, Season 6, Episode 12, All for Nothing. Tensions are running high as the threat of the thermobaric bomb continues to loom. We're going to run out of time. How long will the city last before it implodes? Arrow, all new this Thursday. At- all right, so my first note is... Start the episode off with when you know, the people got zapped. But then, like, the real start of the episode was we got a flashback to five years ago in Central City, and we got to see Captain Singh on Arrow. Yeah. I, I believe that's his second appearance, because he was on it last year for, like, a second. Remember they had that little, the fastest cameo ever with the Flash? Oh, yeah. You know what? I totally got him confused with the guy that died last week. Oh, uh, really? That was because I was about to say, yeah, you were like, oh, they killed him. That. But, yeah, but different dude. Different guy, yeah. yeah. But that's kind of cool. We got to see Diana and Vigilante. I think his name is Vince. Got to see them five years ago, leading up to the moment we already saw. Yeah. But it was kind of neat seeing them undercover and all that. It was that. weird doing flashbacks again. Yeah, because they haven't done it in so long, yeah. yeah. Um, and then my next note is, which doesn't really mean anything anymore, but we'll still talk about it. I'm kind of over the Vigilante and Diana love scenes. Oh. Yeah. It was get, well, cause, because it never it didn't seem to really go anywhere. She's like, I love you. He's like, I love you. But then, oh, you're, you're a traitor. I hate you. It was just back and forth of that. Yeah, a little bit. But then they killed him, so... <laughs> doesn't just, doesn't really matter, just all to make her mad. Yeah, that's really all it was. Th- th- see, because that's what I mean. Like it didn't mean anything. It was just to make her mad or give him motivation, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't really do much. I actually started to like him, which yeah, I think yeah. was the whole point. Yeah, to yeah. like him. Then I think yeah. he'll come back. I don't think he's dead for. Uh, I mean, probably the rest of the season, but I think he'll come back eventually. Don't you? Oh. Mm, not really. His face uh, is pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I, my next note is, for two teams that don't want to work together and hate each other so much, they sure do work a lot together. Yeah. Like we got team, new Team Arrow and Team Arrow working together again, and like the only reason I'm here this time is because you got information that I need, stuff like that. Yeah, I think, I mean, Diggle and Oliver over it, but the others are just being like little whiny bitches. Yeah, that's what their team name should have been, little whiny bitches. L- <laughs> L-Y-B. Yeah. That would have been a better code name, I believe, for them. Um, and then my next note, this is, I'm going to read these in a little bit of order because this is how I, like, I was feeling in the you episode. You L-Y-B? Oh. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Shut <laughs> up. I was like, what the? Uh, but my next note. I was like, I thought you did that quick. And then. My next note, whatever, I'm moving on, is uh, the Vigilante and Caden James scene when he was talking to him, like get, being all smooth talking while they're downloading um, Caden James information. Yeah. Seemed way too easy. <laughs> my next note, oh, wait, never mind. He got captured. Yeah, like at no point did you believe that he, he was going to get away. Him. Once he yeah. got outside, I was like, "Oh, is it really going to be that easy?" Yeah. And then like, once once Kid and James walked outside, I was like, "Oh, okay, he's he can hack anything in the world, but he's going to believe that bullshit." Yeah, that's what I was like. like I was e- even like for them, they should have knew something was up. Yeah. Uh, they they should have had someone outside ready to get him or something. They should have planned that a little more. Uh, and then my next thing is, I really wish they would have shown more of the torture scene with Anatoly and him. Really. Like, cause like we just got to hear it. I mean, they're on a later time. They don't use that time at all for anything. What do you want me to get? In all they the do other? is make us more tired when we're fucking doing this thing. And I got to upload the video at midnight or one a.m. That's for true. fuck's sake. I like, got up late today. I don't like care. Black Lightning does way more with uh, their later time. Than yeah, Black about. Lightning can sometimes make me feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah, sometimes it's like, is this still CW? I'm like, are we watching Showtime right now? <laughs> you get, yeah, th- that Arrow does nothing with that. Uh, the next thing is like we talked about earlier. They killed off Vigilante, which. I don't really care much about nah. it. W- it wasn't. It wasn't like a minus in the show, but it wasn't a plus either. Like it, like kind of nothing happened. No, they killed off the vigilante, and then now they're saying they now Diana wants to kill everyone for it. Yeah, and that now they're saying they kind of show that there's going to be someone else that is a traitor. Which yeah, that, that's my next note. Is like I said two weeks ago, Richard Dragon has to be the person who framed Arrow. It makes sense. Yeah. I hope so. Me too, because like I said, him and March Manhunter should be best friends, because they both do nothing. Right. And I, I'm watching Band watching of Brothers. Watching Band of Brothers again, yeah. For like the hundredth time, and he's one of my favorite characters in Band of Brothers, and I was like, oh yeah, he hasn't done shit in Arrow. It, he w- Which he makes you, lead you to believe he's going to, because he's capable yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, and they had that cool scene when Diggle was Arrow and he was like going to get his drugs and he was in charge and all that. That was kind of a cool scene. They had a fight scene yeah. and all that. He was in like two episodes where he actually did stuff. And now he's and then now like he's now he's like a little lackey to Keaton James, right? Which makes which leads me to believe more that he ha- he has to be the person, which would be cool. That that would be cool. He would be a 
the whole reason I was excited for this season is because I thought yeah. he'd be a good bad guy, and so far he hasn't done shit. So hopefully, Which it it's makes it seem up. like it's been long. It's really only been twelve episodes, and like mixing in between their Caden James and all that because we had that long break. Yeah. Makes it seem like it's been on that longer. Yeah. So hopefully, in like next episode or the week after, we really get more into him being the real bad guy. Hopefully, because I don't even even if, if he's not, I I don't know if I'll really like this season that because Caden James isn't that great of a bad guy. He. He's interesting, but I don't. I don't think for a full season. No, he's a good bad guy, but not for Arrow. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, I think he might even be better, like on Supergirl or yeah, or like, even maybe Flash. Yeah, because he's like more hacking and doing stuff like that, and like sending out people. And like a bad guy for like Cisco. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's right. I don't. I don't or that, Felicity, but like not cause, not cause I for feel like Arrow. Arrow needs to have a really strong I mean, a really strong person or someone who it will literally destroy places. Like I know he's got he was doing bombs, but he hasn't actually blown up Is that like yet. code for drugs? <laughs> no. Uh. Um and then my last thing which we kind of just talked about is Black Canary said she's going to kill everyone now starting with Black Siren. Is that black on black crime? Yeah, I, which they they show her fighting Black Siren in the next on and I don't buy that she'll ki- actually kill Black Siren. Especially because they already killed off Katie Cassidy once and then brought her back from an Earth 2 character. So I don't think they're going to kill her off again. I kind of wish they would. I wish they never brought her. I, I like that they brought her back on Flash and that she could have been like the character like showing up places. Yeah. But now that she's just back on Arrow, it is kind of lame. No, because I, I'm over the Lance thinking he can bring her yeah, back. Which, uh, I actually she... did like that um, Thea was said to him like, yo, she killed the vigilante. She's not your daughter. Yeah. Like as much as I want her to be, and I know you do, and stuff like that. I don't think she is, and he, that was a sad scene for him and all that. But ho- hopefully, because like they did make a thing. I mean, I even predicted like two weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, that she was gonna be a good character, kind of like he used to the vigilante was gonna turn good. Yeah. I I thought the same thing for her, but I'm hoping now that they had her actually kill him, even though she had that little look in her eye, like I don't want to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping they, they don't turn her good, at this point now. I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want her to turn good. At all. Yeah, it'd be cool if, like, the the villain this season was her and Richard Dragon. I'd be cool with that. Like, if those two turned uh, on Katie and James. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't want her turning back and just go. Because, like, I don't think she'd actually join Team Arrow, so it'd be kind of useless. Making well, her and they already character. have her. Yeah, because they kept, like, yeah. They same ha- thing, yeah. yeah. So. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to say about this episode? Anything you liked that we didn't talk about? Uh, there was nothing really special about this episode except that yeah, the Danny died, but it wasn't bad. It, it, yeah, it was just okay. It was a lot of setup because like they found yeah. they found the footage that led them to, like let them know that Arrow was framed and all that, which I mean they already knew, but they like they found out why all Kenny right. James thinks that. Although one thing I do want to bring up is I can't remember her name, but that Helix girl, she fucking showed up out of nowhere. I swear to God. I, th- you know what? I bet it was when we were texting Taylor and we just missed it. Maybe. We were texting for a couple minutes in the show, and then all of a sudden we look up, and that girl's there with Felicity, and she's like, yeah, we got it. And we're like, Where'd she where come the from? fuck did she come from? I bet you if we, if we I bet you it was just we, we just, watched it, and yeah, she's like, oh, I called her in. Looking for the right thing to put <laughs> right on Right gift to send yeah, Taylor. So yeah. Like, I bet we just missed it. But all right, so that's it for our air review this week. We'll be back next Tuesday with Black Lightning and Flash, and then, of course, again Thursday for Arrow. Yeah, no, we quit Supergirl. Fuck that show. All right, see you guys later. (laughs)